Alright, response video to a couple of punks, really. <laughs> Just a few little, these little punks who make videos, um, cruddy little arguments. I don't know, some sort of, I guess he's some sort of Republican or something. He'll address in red, white, and big blue for some reason. Miraculous eye or something. Anyway, uh, so the first half of this video is just griping about how it's just the poor people are reproducing, and yet if we stop these poor people from reproducing, everything will be just fine. All, all the Americans will get off their Prozac, and it'll all be good again. Yay! I don't know what his point is. That, that somehow, yes, we, we, we're, we're all, it's just such a bright and beautiful future. The only thing that's the problem is there's too many people. That's what the problem is. And the truth is that we know that the Africans would just love to come over here and and just they could get they could get thirty people for every one person in terms of resources we use, maybe even a hundred they they'll be perfectly satisfied to live in absolute shit because you know they're living in double shit now, and that's just the joke of the human race. You can put them in any kind of shit and they will survive they will struggle to survive, and they won't care about the quality of their life they'll just struggle to survive. And then even when you give it to them, like I said, even when you, even when they win the lottery, they can't manage to not fuck it up. But this guy says, uh, you know, it's the philosophy of antinatalism that's flawed, not the human beings. <laughs> yeah, right. Feminism, antinatalism seems to be more common in the first world. Oh, duh. Uh, every philosophy is more common in the first world, because guess what? The third world has no fucking clue what planet they're on. I mean, there's literally hundreds of millions of people who think if you, like, pick a card or roll dice or, like, if you went to Las Vegas, that gods and, and their ancestors or some other thing is going to be gaming them. That there, there isn't such a thing as mechanical process, that everything has ghosts and goblins in it. That's what they believe, shit for brains. So yes, of course, antinatalism hasn't quite got there yet, because they're still in fucking voodoo. They're still living in voodoo, idiot. By far. It's a bunch of people who have never gone hungry a day in their life. Uh, how, how would that even be relevant? How the fuck could that possibly even be relevant? So are you saying if, if I did go hungry, which I have, but let's just say I went hungry for a month of my life or five years of my life, how exactly would that be life-affirming? How exactly would that change my philosophical understanding of a replicating molecule, just pointlessly gladiator warring, to create basically, you know, the winners are like great white sharks and tyrannosauruses, and yes, we have a brain, but what do we do with it? Oh yeah, we mon maniacally use it to capture and imprison other sentient creatures, torture them, and then eat them. And so how exactly would starving make me say, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do some more of that. No, it wouldn't. So it's just a cheap, shitty insult. You have a small penis. Do you know that? I bet you have a small penis. Most anti-antinatalists are small penis assholes. There. How's that? I bet you they've never had a full grip on their penis in a day in their life. Now, have there, shall I metaphor it that way? I bet you they've never spent one day in their life getting a full, good, juicy grip of their penis. Because it's too fucking small. I'm here. Fuck you, you cheap little weasel insults. Do, 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 do. And they probably wouldn't have had more than one child if they weren't antinatalists, if they've never been exposed to the ideology. Yeah, they probably wouldn't have had any, and that's exactly the point. That sensible people find something else to do with their time, and they see no emergent, urgent necessity to perpetuate. They don't see any reason. T I, don't have a, I don't have a desire to get a frickin' Martian woman pregnant. I don't have a desire to get a moon woman pregnant. If there were such things, I wouldn't be saying, oh, I must go and plant them with a baby, and I'll be financially responsible for it and all that shit, and I'll put it through school so it can grow up to be a little twat asshole like you. And then I can say, damn it, how do I get that thing greased? What a fucking mistake. God, I need one of them retro abortion kits. Like feminism, where antinatalism... Oh, wait, whatever. Like feminism. Like, um... All right, let's just come up with some ism for you. Racism. Like racism, you antinatalists are just silly bigots. Dumb, ignorant, NASCAR-loving bigots. There, how's that? God, you know, fuck, make a real argument, you douchebag. Racism is needed most. It doesn't exist. In places where millions of kids starve every year, no one gets shamed for procreating.
Yeah, well, no one gets shamed for procreating where kids don't do any of that starving shit or any of that other shit. That's right, because assholes like you keep uh, just grinding the wheels, just just keep pushing the same car down the same fucking road. You say, I don't have a dumb, ignorant religion. Yes, you do. You've accepted every tenant of it, every every behavioral um, 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 device of it, every byproduct of it. You know, you're you're basically eating. You're consuming what it produces in terms of a a, a perception of oh, innate or um, automatic or let's not even judge the mission statement here. You know, you're, you're assuming the existence of a god. You're just saying there isn't one, but you're still assuming its existence. The irresponsible, the stupid, and the impoverished will never listen to the antinatalists. And again, we don't have to make, we don't really have to listen, but you do have to give them incentives to behave differently. Behavior is, you know, requires incentives. It requires motivators. So yeah, you got to put motivators in the in the world for people to behave differently. But the truth is, is the rest of these people could do something about it if the naysayers and the nitpickers and the bullshitters and the ass wipes like yourself didn't just sit there and uh, malign other people's um, um, philosophies with pointless and idiotic, you have a big nose. I mean, that's all you're saying here. You're just saying, antinatalists have a big nose. You're not making a fucking argument. I don't know if antinatalists acknowledge this, but instead of focusing on those people, they focus on first world internet users. Bullshit. Fucking, I mean, what an outrageous uh, remark to make. Go show, where's the example of that? Where is the focus in any, show me any video where the focus is on first world internet users. Show me it. <laughs> Shithead. Procreation is procreation is the bottom line. And any baby prevented is a baby saved. <laughs> so that argument's always going to be valid. But certainly most antinatalists will be saying, yes, go to the people that are having five or ten or fifteen or twenty kids. Yeah, yeah. Put a cork in that. Show me the video where they're saying otherwise, douche for brains. Show me an antinatalist video that's saying, yes, the poor people have it right, it's those rich breeders that are the problem. Show me that video. Yeah, that sounds like the demographic we should be focusing on. I mean, Russia had a negative population growth rate for over a decade, but let's focus on first world internet users. Again, where's the evidence of it? Again, there's no such thing as a focus. There's no focus on any kind of user, you stupid fuck. It's a philosophy, you dumbass. It applies over the whole world. If you say the world is round, that doesn't mean you're saying, oh yeah, except for the flat part. You idiot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> fuck you. No, no one's even proposing, seriously, too many places, anything like a plan except for me. So you better bring this accusation to me. Where have I suggested that we should do anything else but incentivize to pay the poor out of their reproductivity? That the rich, the, 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 the civilized countries have to do a little bit of work. That's right. They, the 85% the, 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 the of people who, are, who are, are not replicating excessively have to exactly point to those poor people and say, that's a problem and we've got to buy them out of this problem they're creating. We got to stop letting them run, drive the bus, and we, the civilized people, have to drive the bus. Where, where have I made a video suggesting otherwise, shithead? Oh, that's right, I haven't. So you're just a fucking lying little putz. People in the first world are in a unique position with lots of wealth and access to knowledge to solve the problems we face. Right, right, and uh, you know, most of the uh, United States is a Christian. Right? They're religious. And then there are also assholes like you who says, we can't do this. This philosophy is not going anywhere. Look, it's safe right here. Uh, but I think voluntary human extinction mo movement's goal is even possible. You say it's not even possible. I, I mean, even though you're saying that you're acknowledging the fact that it's a small percentage of the human race that's responsible for all the excessive population growth and even maintaining population increases... There wouldn't be population increases without them. You're conceding the argument that most people aren't replicating even voluntarily at those levels, at levels necessary for continued growth in population. And the only alternative, you know, if you're not growing, you're probably going to start declining. Um, so how can you say voluntary human extinction is a failure when, frankly, it would be a huge success if it wasn't for these dumb fucks. If it wasn't for these poor assholes. 
<laughs> in this world. Stupid. To focus on cutting down their number of births is counterproductive. Life is not that bad in the first world. It's not all suffering. Well, whatever. It doesn't. No one's arguing it's all suffering. It's another lie. I mean, it's just straw man after straw man after straw man. You're saying it's not that bad. Well, then why is everybody a drunk and an asshole and a drug addict and uh, you know, on some pharmaceuticals and all panicked about finding some philosophy? Why are they vulnerable to becoming Scientologists and everything's going so fucking well? Oh, that's right, because they're all in crisis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if you have a bunch of third world people doing the breeding... Suffering is what you're going to perpetuate. Yeah, right, but they're all happy, right? Isn't that the truth of the matter is? Is that they'll, they'll answer the little survey and say, no, my life is great because God says so, or because the bones say so, or because I'm just going to say so, even though my life is absolute suck. Because they're just going to be this in, 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 you know, these, these, these moronic, silly things that think there's an accomplishment in it. Their family name is more important than their welfare. Their, their God is more important. All this little bullshit, this idiotic, moronic psychology owns them. And you're just validating that very same mechanism by saying, well, it's okay if the first world Europeans and the Americans are full of fucking bullshit, idiotic notions of purpose. But don't let these idiots have purpose. <laughs> yeah, because they'll breed with it. Yeah, but they have a different standard of what satisfaction is and accomplishment is. Their standards are pretty fucking low. Exactly. Just be a good worm. Uh, you're not doing anything better. You're just saying be a good vole. You're saying, but you're all saying, yeah, be a good Borgite to the DNA molecule. Asshole. Wait, I just find it so strange that the people who suffer the least are, are bitching about... Again, bitching about. So, so what is this argument? So you don't want people to bitch about the human condition. Is that it? They're not supposed to complain that they're, people are caught up in idiotic psychology. So if the American people were 90% devout, fundamentalist Christian, I mean ex radically Christian, the, the 10% who wasn't, who, who, who could get burned at the stake at any minute, shouldn't fucking complain. They shouldn't whine. They shouldn't bitch that people are living a false life for false purposes, and they're subjecting their kids to an idiotic, futile life, uh, obedient to a God that doesn't exist. They think it's basically fundamentally child abuse. They're raising their kids to fucking pray to a God that doesn't exist. And they shouldn't say anything like, fuck you, cunt. Yeah, well, fuck you, you little turdy weasel. You faceless little fucking jackass at hominin attack fucking turd for brain, shit for brain, motherfucker who can't make a real argument, who just sits there behind his little map and makes accusations of other people's character. Well, fuck you. I bet you wet your goddamn pants. In suffering, and the people who suffer the most are just trying to survive and don't really give a shit about your bullshit ideology. Yeah, well, they don't give a shit about your bullshit ideology either, do they, fuck nut? Yeah, that's right, because they're too busy fucking rolling bones on the ground and saying, what should I do next? Asshole. God, fuck you and die. Now, in third world countries, this is partly a product of their environment. And I concede that because uh, Europeans were like this before industrialization. But that doesn't change the fact that the third world is most of the problem. Poverty plays a big role. <laughs> yeah, no. It's an ideology that's most of the problem. You want to call it the third world? No, there's third worlders living in the first world. There's ignorant poor people in the first world who are having 18 fucking kids. Okay, so it's obviously not a world problem. It's not, it's not because their world is different or their country is different. No, it's because their fucking mindset is different. Because assholes like you keep telling people, no, you have to believe this. This is the only way to believe. You have to be part of the Borg. You have to be part of the Borg. And if you say anything against the Borg, you're a bitcher and a mo whiner and a moaner. And you never went starving a day in your life. Well, fuck you, you little limp-dicked, tiny-dicked, motherfucking... Little pissy, wormy, motherfucking cunt bastard. But these days, your average first world breeder has a fucking iPhone, so... No, no. In the first world, it's more irresponsibility than anything. Uh, dumb people do tend to be irresponsible. Yeah, duh. Well, what do you think the third world is? What do you think their problem is? You think their problem is they live in Africa? No, their problem is they're dumb, you dumb fuck. <laughs> God, fuck, you're dumb. Breed like rabbits. And I think there is a genetic basis to a lot of these behaviors and attitudes. Racist. I seriously doubt trailer park rednecks and residents of the ghetto are going to get behind antinatalism unless... 
Because who cares whether they get behind it? Again, all you do, the, the people who have a brain should say, hey, we have a brain, let's drive the bus. What do we need to do to drive the bus? Oh, yeah, we have to get the crazy fucks off the hood and off the top of the bus and out from under the wheels. So let's pay them to be civilized like us and not sleep under the wheels. Yeah. It's free to participate, if you know what I mean. And even then, it won't be a conscious effort on their part. So if you want to do something to really solve problems... Oh, here we go. Let's see. The advice of the 12-year-old with a tiny, 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 tiny penis. Dump big crates of birth control into third world countries. Yeah, you think they'd use it? Is that what you think? You think they'd use it if you don't give them an incentive to use it? If you don't pay them to use it? Huh? Einstein? Yeah, you're a real Einstein. Asshole. They'll fucking use it to, whatever, tie their door shut. You know, so they have a spring on the door, so now the door automatically closed because it's got a condom tied to it. That's what they use your birth control for. Fucking, what a douchebag. Who is this little Weasley douchebag? Let's go find out. Gotta be one of these racist nuts. Oh, yeah, he's got Obama on there. But oh, he's a black man president. He's an asshole, but it has nothing to do with being black. Uh, anyway, yeah, no doubt about it. Racist all over the place. Yeah, racist, racist. Feminism. So he has a problem with women. He likes fat Jones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fat Alex. Fat Alex Jones. Fat Alex. Let's see. Anything else in here? Is it all interesting? No. Uh, Mitt Romney. I don't know what the point of that is. But anyway. Yeah, no real indication of anything here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Alex Jones Lutzes. Lutzes. I don't know. So he doesn't post videos of his own or what? Yeah, I'm just an asshole. Alright. Never mind then. I don't know how his file has and subscribe is, and he doesn't post his own videos. From what it looks like, anyway. He just keeps posting other people's images, anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my time on listening to this shit. That's what it is. Shit. Diet Coke. Here comes the judge. Eh, whatever. I don't know. She's just a naysayer and a nitpicker, apparently. Uh, yeah. Why, why, did that, why, why are people viewing these shit for shit videos? Anyway, you must have got some kind of miraculous video of some kind accidentally. Well, 